So I moved to LA, I'm here, and I mean, it's been two months. <laughs> I've been here for two months. I'm sorry, I kind of left you guys in the dark for a minute. But, um, you know, I, I started vlogging, but I ultimately just felt like I had so much stuff that I was trying to get done that I was like, you know what? I need to just live in the moment, get all my shit done, get settled in, and then get back to vlogging. But being back here has been really refreshing, crazy. It feels right. I've been meeting new people, hanging out with guys, just living a very drastically different life than the life I was living just a few months ago. Mm. But I know you guys are probably dying to see my apartment, so I'm gonna give you a little tour. I don't know if I mentioned this to you guys in my last video, but I ended up getting a studio apartment. So my place here is very, very tiny, so don't blink or you might miss a good portion of it. Okay, so I'm gonna give you guys just a really quick once over. So when you walk in, there's the kitchen and the bathroom. I went for kind of like a spa vibe, Japandi, if you will, Japanese, Scandinavian, modern. It's kind of the vibe. Shower, nothing too exciting here. I did uh, hang these little floating shelves from Amazon that everybody loves, and I have to say, amazing. Loving those. Then it's pretty much just one big massive room that I've done my best to kind of separate. So this is like a little glam area. I have a divider shelf. This side of the divider shelf, I've dedicated to like my beauty stuff. And so we have like some bags and jewelry and glasses. And of course all of my nail polish stuff, which I actually had to get rid of quite a lot of it. I had to condense my collection down. Perfume hair stuff, like I did the most. And then over here we have like skincare. I really love this um, little carousel thing for holding like brushes and smaller makeup products. More makeup and yeah, this is the general getting ready area. Closets, not too exciting honestly, but of course it's very organized. So I will let you guys appreciate the organization. <laughs> And over here we have a full length mirror for when I wanna check out my outfit. Sorry, I didn't really do much with my stuff today. Um, I'm having a lazy day today. Pookie's little eating area, a tree, the desk area, which I think is quite cute. I got one of these um, standing desks, which I've been wanting for a really long time because when I'm editing and I end up editing for like 20 straight hours, sometimes it's good to stand up. And then this is like, my bed, but I wanted to style it like a couch because there's not room for a couch in here. And so we have a little coffee table and then TV. So this actually will be different. I ordered a piece of furniture that's not here yet. That's the one thing that's not here yet, but for now it looks fine. And you will see that Miss Bookie is here. It is her sunbathing hour right now. So she's like, don't bother me. Can you say hi to our friends? And then on this side of the shelf, you will see that there's different things. This is more like my hobbies. So I have my Korean books and some stationery, sewing, art supplies. And then I have a little patio, which I honestly kind of want a little overboard with my decor out here. I made this lattice. I actually custom made this for this little vine and there's lights and candles and a little table and over here picnic style table and i got this really nice lounge chair which is super comfortable <laughs> but he just lives for her sun time <laughs> but yeah that's the new place what do you guys think so i'm getting ready to head to downtown to hang out with ollie for the night but i need to get dressed which means this is the perfect time to say a big thank you to today's sponsor Thread up. I got so many amazing things this time. I literally think this is the best thread up haul I've ever done. I went for a lot of really cute, feminine, romantic style tops because I think they'll be perfect for summer date nights. So if you guys are unfamiliar with thread up, it's basically the world's largest online secondhand store. My personal favorite way to shop secondhand because they have just 
an insanely massive selection and their website makes it so easy to sort through everything and find the items that you love and it just always you know feels great knowing that you're shopping in a more sustainable way so i'm gonna try everything on for you guys and let me know which piece was your favorite option one this really cute floral romper from nbd the back really really cute retailed for 110 and i paid 30 dollars lately in la it's been like 90 degrees so I'm tempted to wear this tonight, but it feels a little too special just to be hanging out with Ollie. Option two is this stunning Reformation blouse that retailed for $138 and I paid $38. This is the kind of top that I would normally never shell out the dollars for. So when I saw this on the site, I was like, ah, yes, I'm so excited. It's just so pretty, right? I think I'm leaning towards wearing this tonight. Honestly, I'm not sure if this top fits me. <laughs> it's an extra, extra small. And when I saw it on the site, I was like, oh, I really want that, but I just don't know if it will fit. But I mean, it kind of fits. I just don't know if I can get the zipper down. <laughs> oh, I'm sweating. Honestly, I'm afraid if I get it on, I won't be able to get it off. Oh, it fits. I'm so happy because look how beautiful. This is so pretty and such a first date type top i just feel very elegant and feminine and i feel like it accentuates my body nicely i really love it so this is from privacy please retailed for 98 dollars and i paid 38. and then we have a more casual option this is kind of how i dress on a regular basis just like a basic classic black bodysuit really nice pair of jeans both of these pieces are from reformation and both of them were a steal so the jeans reformation jeans are quite expensive these retailed for 150 i paid 33 dollars i was so 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 excited when i found these and the bodysuit is actually like the perfect everyday ribbed black bodysuit and i can see me reaching for this all the time so i think i want to wear the bodysuit but i have one other pair of jeans and when i saw this pair of jeans i lost it i've been looking for this style everywhere and i don't know why it's not more popular because i think it's very very cute it's kind of y2k and this was one of my favorite style of jeans to wear when i was in like eighth grade lace up see this gorgeous lace up detailing oh the black with denim is cute, but I am kind of a black on black girl. So let's throw on the black ones. And these are actually the best deal out of everything I got. They retailed for $175 and I paid $23. I couldn't believe it. I was like, this has got to be a mistake, but I'll take them. Ah, <laughs> uh, I love it. Okay, so I think this is the outfit. I'm really feeling myself. Um, if you guys would be interested in trying out ThreadUp, of course, I have a special offer for you guys. If you use my code Kalel at checkout, you can receive an extra 40% off your first order. Also, if you found yourself liking the items that I chose, if you click on my link, you can actually shop similar items. So click the link in the description, head on over to ThreadUp and save yourself some money and shop sustainably and feel good about it accessorizing with my little lock necklace my everyday rings my apple watch which isn't cute but i have to have it because i track my steps and for shoes what do we want to do i think i'm going to do these super tall all saints booties full outfit feeling very sleek and ready for a fun night out i'm actually really running late and ollie's gonna kill me <laughs> just called an uber oh it says five minutes away so Sorry, Ollie. I'm even more late. I spent forever choosing an outfit and now, um, okay, five minutes. Okay, let's go. Downtown with my Fitum sister. You missed the honking and all the noise and chaos. The, the chaos of downtown. Uh, we're trying to figure to out. Oh, I haven't. I might feel like I'm the only person who hasn't seen Barbie. I know. Um, we're trying to figure out what we want to eat. No, I feel like there's got to be new things that have popped up here since I lived here, but I just don't know what I want. After endless deliberation, we have decided that we're just going to get Chipotle. So here's the thing about Chipotle that really grinds my gears. Why 
Did they stop making a quesadilla like a quesadilla? Why? Why? And apparently if you ask for it the old way, they refuse. But I'm gonna try, so let's see what happens. So we ended up just going back to the apartment to eat and we were walking around like, where can we like find a cute little spot to sit down and eat? People are like partying here, it's really loud. Luckily we came in, we found this cute little tiny table and we just thought, oh this is perfect. They ended up giving me the old style quesadilla because I begged, but he only cooked it for like two seconds so I don't think it's gonna be very good. Ollie, can you pass me a napkin? Yes. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> hey guys, this is my new dinner table. <laughs> my neighbors are so loud right now. It's so weird. I'm really not one to complain, but like, <laughs> does this look like there's nothing crispy about this? They literally said, <laughs> like, <laughs> wait, wait, not me. They literally this said like this. <laughs> So I don't know what it is, but I feel like ever since I moved to LA, I've been finding it difficult to vlog. And it's really weird because I've actually been living life, going out and doing things. Like today I had lunch with a new friend, Tiffany. Um, I don't know, what's her username? I think it's Miss Tiffany Ma. She, so adorable, and I was gonna vlog it, but it was like our first time hanging out, and I was like, I just, there's been so many of these moments where I've been like doing things with people, out living life, but I just have this weird anxiety or just like general weirdness about having my vlog camera and like documenting things. So I'm sorry that I've been the worst. I'm gonna try to improve or like figure out ways to make it less awkward. Maybe I'll go back to using my phone or something. I don't know. But anyway, I just wanted to take a moment and sit down and talk with you guys. It has been really exciting i don't i have like mixed feelings about being back it's for starters it's just been such a massive contrast to how i was living my life i know i already said this but it's like such a massive contrast to how i was living my life a few months ago i'm like always doing things probably see people like three or four times a week uh, i identify with my place i feel good in my environment which has been something that's really helped me mentally i've been on top of my fitness game i literally take like 15,000 to 20,000 steps a day been going to the gym this is a little toxic to say but i have like got my old body back it has a lot to do with the fact that i was sick for a while i lost a lot of weight while i was sick and then i've just been able to maintain it because i'm really active i'm doing things i'm not sitting at home all day snacking on food because i'm actually out living life so i think that has a lot to do with it but it's been interesting i'm bringing it up mostly because i just it's interesting um to kind of like be feeling good about myself again i don't know not that i mean i should have been feeling good about myself to begin with but i'm just keeping it 100 with you guys okay like i know it's maybe not the most popular thing to share but yeah, anyway, I'm getting ready now actually to head out because I have a Korean class. It's actually an introductory Korean class, which I've been studying Korean for a few years. So I'm actually just taking it because my friend wanted to take it and I just kind of wanted to be supportive and help her and also like, um, you know, just advanced with her so we can stay in the same class. So I'm going there and I think we're gonna go out and like get like, uh, Boba after and just hang out. So I will see you guys maybe when I'm in class. If you look at the original Hangul that King Sejong introduced, you see those other consonants, but they're no longer around. You have your payday. <laughs> oh, where am I picking? <laughs> Anne brought not one, but two types of little fish. So cute. This one here. And this is Jie. 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 just brought us some free tear these are like huge ones compared to what's in the drink mm. good mm. chewy oh, i'm 
back home. I gotta feed Buki. Thank you. Oh, I also wanted to show you guys my place, how it looks at night, because I have all these different lights set up. I just love like ambient lighting. So I have like one here, one behind my TV, one behind my mirror, two over here. And then I also have like little lights up here. And then I have another one over here, but this one's actually quite bright. So I don't usually turn this one on. So cute, right? I just love the whole like warm golden vibe. Oh, and then I also put them under my kitchen cabinets, which I think turned out really nicely. Oh my goodness, can I see this tummy? Can I see this tummy? Oh, that's a nice tummy. Today was such a busy day that I'm so exhausted and ready to go to bed. So I'm gonna say goodnight to you guys as well. Thank you so much for watching to the end and hopefully I will keep up with vlogging. I'm going to do my best. Sometimes I wonder like how did I get myself into this because I'm such a private person who doesn't really like talking about myself and yet here I am like going on my like what 14th year of doing this. I don't know. Well if you think about it it's because I started out doing makeup videos. So when I initially was like, okay, I want to be a YouTuber, I wasn't talking about myself. But I don't really want to talk about makeup anymore. And so I just, I find it most enjoyable to just share my life experience and we can relate to each other. And I, it's more enjoyable, but <laughs> I also just like, I don't really like talking about myself. So it's always been a struggle for me, but... I know a lot of you guys have been wanting vlogs, so I'm gonna do my best to deliver. And um, yeah, oh also a big thank you again to ThreadUp for sponsoring today's video. If you wanna take advantage of my special code, it's code CLEL, you can get an extra 40% off at checkout for if you're a first time customer. Okay, I'm gonna go to sleep. Thanks for watching until the end, bye!